Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the art of sandwich making of 1926, we're going to be making the bacon cheese sandwich. You know, uh, on this series, I've eaten a lot of questionable things like the yeast sandwich and the goblin sandwich. Uh, today is what we might call a layup, a gimme, if you will. It is a uh, sandwich I'm actually looking forward to eating. We top buttered bread with grated cheese. Didn't say what kind, so I'm going with cheddar. Didn't say how much, so I'm going with this much. And we top that with bacon. Then it said something that was music to my ears. These sandwiches are delicious toasted. <laughs> okay, let's give this bacon and cheese sandwich a go. I toasted this in the toaster oven. It did not get melty like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. I do think the grilled cheese treatment would have been a better move, but still, it is warm, oozy cheese, bacon, and butter. I can hear my arteries slamming shut right now. I do want to plus it up just a smidge. Sure, I could go the BLT route and add lettuce and tomato, but instead I'm going for the outer limits. That's right, ghost pepper and roasted garlic hot sauce. It's going to bring a, a lot of heat and a little contrast to all the richness and a little bit of saltiness here. Okay, let's give this cheese and bacon sandwich plus up with the outer limits ghost pepper and roasted garlic hot sauce. Oh, go. That is tasty. That ghost pepper sauce, spicy. I'm starting to sweat already but flavorful and rich and it has depth with that roasted garlic. It's playing off the richness of the cheese and the fattiness of the bacon. But I think I want to plus it up one more time. So in addition to the Outer Limits ghost pepper and roasted garlic hot sauce, an over easy egg. Oh yeah. Okay, let's give this cheese and bacon sandwich plus up with the Outer Limits ghost pepper and roasted garlic hot sauce and an over easy egg. Oh, go. So good. Told you it was a gimme. So uh, the original bacon and cheese sandwich was quite tasty. I enjoyed that quite a bit. I'm gonna give that a seven. I think it would have been a little bit better with the grilled cheese treatment because the cheese would have gotten a lot more melty than just toasting it, but that's just me. Uh, adding in the uh, Outer Limits ghost pepper and roasted garlic hot sauce, that easily kicked it up to an eight. That is a delicious hot sauce. Definitely got me sweating. Uh, plus up with an over easy egg, that's, man, that's flirting with nine, nine and a half. That is a tasty breakfast sandwich. I'm definitely gonna finish what little is left of it. And uh, yeah, I would make this again. Just not too often, because I'm a man of a certain age. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.